so hello and welcome to all the viewers so in this video we will talk about sketch module so as we discussed in last video we had a small introduction to all the panels of workbench so today we will discuss about a ribbon tool and sketch module so here when you open us workbench you will find a design window and you will find structure panel as well as option and properties panel so as we know that here on the top of the ribbon tool you will find a sketch module so left of this sketch module you will find add curve section and right of this sketch module you will find modify sketch section so basically there are two section the first one here we can create like line rectangle circle fillets and then next right hand side you will find some modify sections like here we can create a fillet extend trim so all these options are basically in order to modify the sketch so we will start the sketch module now so here before starting you need to create a plan view so for that you just either click over here or you can click here right now we will start with the rectangle section so here just click on the rectangle and here you will find snapping to grid either you will find you can snap like that and if you want to do uh, you want to change this do control z okay now further i am selecting this and here you will find the few options on the uh, design window left hand side like select reference curve and you have move dimensions base point so here you will find options at the same time you will find options on the uh, here on option panel also so let's start rectangle uh, define rectangle from center so we will start from the central and then we can define the dimensions so here the very first you will find in the blue region that you can define like we will go with 15 right then you need to enter then it will automatically shift to another dimension and then there we will put 100 then enter okay so once you will pen enter then you will find both the rectangle is defined so in order to move out from the rectangle either you can go to select or you can shift to another sketch then we will do we will come out and then we will go further and we will create a here a circles so you can use circle mode and then here as you saw that we are dragging uh, our cursor so that you can easily identify the dimension either you can put manually or you can just move the cursor so what i will do i will keep 25 and then enter okay so similarly we will do here and we'll put 25 and enter right now similarly we will create one more circle over here and we will define dimension of 15 mm or you can put if you want to change just keep it 20 mm let's do further here and here if you see i am dragging um, i am moving mercer uh, cursor and if you see it will automatically take the adjacent circle dimension so there is no need to define if you move cursor and then just click so it will automatically take the uh, their adjacent circle okay dimensions now let's talk about another few options like here if you see this tangent line so what does it mean it can create a tangent line for the two circles so click on that select this first one and select another one so if you see the tangent symbol is displayed and it is creating the same so before do that i will just create control z and here there is one more line that is construction line so it is basically used to do the construction as you saw that uh, you might aware of it is available in another soft software also so right as we are creating a symmetrical cross section so what we can do now we can use this as a mirror line so right click over there and set as a mirror line so whatever the options or whatever the 
sketching we will do on this quarter it will reflect on the another quarter so let's start with this furthermore options and just click first area if you see here on the other side also you will find the cursor is moving right okay that is what the advantage of creating this central line now let's create few more lines just create now we can find over here and automatically at the middle it will create and it will be the complete line so you can if you want to move out just right click finish line so let's repeat that right click finish line okay so now what we did we have created a rectangular cross section with the four circles at the end so like that you can create a circles now let's talk about a few more other commands like here there are repair sections are there like if you want to trim some of the section like you click on that now we don't want this line so you just need to trim that like this okay now if you don't want this middle also you just trim this so that it will automatically trim in this other sections now let's go with furthermore creation of circle so before do that uh, we will create one more rectangle just click over here and you can create a rectangle over here so suppose you want to create a rectangular from respect to any section so in order to do that you just go here use Cartesian dimensions and suppose you want to create rectangular from this line just click over here and you will find the respective coordinates from where you want to create a rectangle so we will create rectangle at 20 by 25 this side right we will repeat that once again I will repeat one more time so here just select click on the rectangle select Cartesian select your reference point and from that you can create a start point so that you can create the rectangle okay now let's create a small rectangle 20 by 20 okay now right click uh, if you want to move out just go to select now we will move to what we will do we will use a fillet option so that this corner will be we will put some radius over there so in order to do so we can just click over here and you will find a rounded corner so just click and you can create a rounded corner and you can define a dimensions as per your requirement so I am just using OMM just put 4mm over there enter similarly repeat for these two 4mm enter now next repeat for the same 4mm enter ok now if you see this uh, if you see our similar rectangular is reflected over here so no need to create a separate rectangle this is because of mirror line now we will furthermore add few more lines we will create lines at the bottom so let's click on the line and here we can use a Cartesian dimensions and we can create from this respect to point here we can create at the 20 mm ok so here either you can move cursor and you can define respect to dimensions or even you can define angle so for that you can use a polar dimensions and you can use a respect to angle in order to create that lines ok So let's create one line at 120 degree and just create furthermore up to this okay now we have created now what we can do we can further create few more sections here you can use furthermore Cartesian then from this respect to you can click on that and at the 10 mm you can create a circle like that so it is auto automatically reflected on the other surface and then create a line which is creating these two parts right now we can trim the unwanted portions like that like this 
now we what we did we have created a smaller sections now suppose you want to move a respect to dimension so in order to do that control j just move out from that now in order to move this you need to select this line and you can move cursor like that now if you see here the dimensions are changing i will mean see you can change dimensions by simply moving the lines similarly if you want to change this bottom section also you can move like that so which is feasible here now let's talk about this section you can even move this section like this in respect to plane but suppose if you want to move at certain dimension then it is difficult somehow control z then in order to do that here we can use move also so if just in order to use move just select the respective lines which you want to move select on that move and then it will automatically came then you can simply drag that from respect to you can move either up or you can move either down so let's create a 10 mm okay now suppose if you want to move this you can even define dimensions and you can simply move use this move command similarly if you want to move with respect to this axis you can define your dimensions okay so that is all about your move so now we will trim furthermore this bottom lines okay and now we will further create a circle small circle we will define here a 15 mm similarly we can create one more circle over here and here we can keep 8 mm okay select now we have created circle rectangle and also we have created a tangent lines so we use most of the sketches commands now there are few more remains like when we talk about tangent arc three point arc and sweep arc you and you will find the ellipse also we will use this in next module and we will discuss the same now suppose your sketch is created now you want to come out from this so there are two options either you can here at the bottom you will find return to 3d mode okay and either you can simply move directly to pull just you can click on the pull and you will find it came out control z then you can further use 3d mode and here you can find your uh, respect to surfaces are created now we will do control z further if you see here we have created lot of arcs and all the uh, we have created lot of curves and all the curves are dis displaced and we can see here in the tree itself like circle we have created circles we have created lines we have created arc so all you will find by the name itself now when you will move to the 3d bodies then you will find this are converted into surface bodies now let's go into 3d mode now you will find this surface is created now when you you will extrude that then it will further created as a solid let's do we can pull this at some distance like pull 10 mm okay now you will find the solid is created okay now this is the surface and these are the curves so basically first we created a sketch we created a different arc curves then we created a surface surface and then we created a final solid okay so that's it guys that's it for the present video in next video we will discuss further more the few more sketches and then we'll move one by one to cover each and every topic in the workbench so thank you bye bye take care